Are you tired of your text and graphics looking fake and out of place? Well, most people struggle with this, but if I told you there was a hidden tool within DaVinci Resolve that can track complex surfaces flawlessly, stick around because later I will reveal a super secret technique for a stunning cinematic look that will elevate your edits from basic to awesome. Just let your imagination run wild and have fun with it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we've got our clip selected. We're going to go over to the Fusion page. Within the Fusion page, what we're going to do is we're going to do a control space and bring in a surface tracker. We're going to add that to our node tree. We're going to do something a little different here. Instead of going from the beginning to the end, we are going to go from the end to the beginning. So we're going to start tracking this thing here. What we're going to also do is we're going to be bringing bringing down a text node and we're going to connect that to our surface tracker and just if we need it we're going to bring down a transform node and make sure that it's connected to our node tree with our surface tracker selected we're going to go over to our bounds what we're going to do is we're going to start selecting the area in which the text is going to be placed onto and the more that you select here the better the tracking will be at the end if you make a mistake you can always go back grab that point and move it back to the position that you wanted so for us this is okay we're going to now go over to the mesh section in the mesh we're going to go and take our point number limit the less you have you can see you have less points to track that will give Give you a bad tracking and the more you have the better so we're going to go all the way up to 200 which is the max for this in the minimum point spacing there is a minimum amount of points between the spaces so we're going to go as many points as we can so we're going to take this all the way down to the five from there we're going into the track tab and we can go better or faster so we're going to go with better better gives you a better tracking rate or you can go faster and that'll give you less accuracy in your tracking and since we are at the end we're going to track from the end to the beginning so we're going to start tracking at this point this is the point where it's going to take a little while depending on your computer and processing power it might take a little bit so you might want to go grab a copy or do whatever when you come back we'll be ready to show you what the secret little thing is that will get this to look really cool and be really good a few moments later. Well, once the tracking has finished, you can see that it's all just collapsed. But if you were to go back to the end while you are going back through, just make sure there's nothing anomaly sitting out in your tracking. If it is, you can just correct it now by moving it back in. But it looks okay. Um, as you can see, there is no text, no nothing in the surface tracker. That's because we haven't even put in any text yet. So just type in whatever text you want and change whatever font that you want and whatever color that you desire. So we're going to change our size of this. Again, if it goes outside of the surface tracker, it will actually cut the words off. So you know your boundaries as far as size goes when the words start to disappear. So just leave it inside of where it is. We're going to add a little bit of shading to ours just to make it look okay. So we're going to go to this. We're going to enable our outline. We're going to increase it so that it actually kind of stands out a little bit. And that should be good enough for that. Now, what we need is we need to actually make this look a lot better than it actually does. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click off anywhere inside the node tree. We're going to control space and we're going to add a Luma key with the Luma key. We're going to add that. We're going to connect the output of the media to the Luma key and the Luma key output to the output of the surface tracker that creates that merge node. So once we have the Luma Kia selected, you can see that now it's starting to get less solid and a little bit more see-through, which is good for what we want. This up here, your luminance, you can change that to whatever it is that you would want. We're going to stick with luminance. You can try the others and see if that works for your situation. We're going to drop our low down a little bit. That just makes it more solid. So we're going to go with just a little bit more solid 
we're going to bring our highs down. That makes it a little less solid so you can actually see through it. But we don't want to make our stuff disappear. So we're going to go with that. That's all you need to change inside of this at this time. So now if you were to actually go back and play this back, you will see that what you have is your words should start to appear as this thing grows. So that's why we started from the back and worked our way forward because it wasn't anything to attach our tracker to at that time. But if you want to attach it to other stuff, you can. It's very simple to do. It's just the reverse. And in the intros, you did see that we had attached it to other scenarios. So what the surface tracker does is it tracks the surface alone. Everything inside of the recognition area that you created will be tracked. And if it, anything moves within that area, it will take whatever it is that you have in that image and move it along with it. It's not like the other ones where they just track by coordinates. This tracks the actual surface. If you like this tutorial, please remember to subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified next time and comment and like below.